Mark Denham at Breakfast Podcast. Hello, two hundred and five. That's the number of the episode. Welcome. This is Mark Denham from the Atom Radio Breakfast Show, bringing you the best bits from this week of the Breakfast Show. And yesterday, 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 I finished it all up with a headache, but we'll get to that in a moment. First, though, we have: was it faked or was it staged? Me aiming to reach new heights. We have the the benefits of good teachers. We discovered, however, the the gaps in Brown's life coaching calendar that still remain. We spoke about a Scottish legend. Uh, We also had good things that are bad things. And who pays for the first date? I mean, who really does? Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Morning, morning, morning. Home of the anthems all day long. This is Atom Radio. Welcome to Monday. It is Mark Denham at breakfast. Uh, I, I don't know that this wasn't staged or not, because... Who often films themselves watching the telly? But Roman Kemp's reaction has gone viral to finding out his parents uh, were on the Masked Singer over the weekend. Who genuinely films themselves just watching a reality show on TV? I know I don't. I reckon it's staged, if I'm honest. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. Do you know astronauts can grow two inches while in space? because of the lack of pressure on their spine. Now, if I get measured first thing in the morning, I am six foot. If I get measured later on, late afternoon, I am five foot 11. Therefore, I do shrink during the day. Maybe if I go to space, I could get to six foot one, six foot two. You know what? I may have to look into that, whether I could get to space and be six foot one, six foot two. And then when I shrink, I wouldn't go beneath six foot. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Morning, morning, morning. 7.06. Mark Denham at breakfast. Banging out the anthems on Atom Radio with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. I'll tell you a little story, actually. When my godson was in year four at school, he had a teacher whose name I misunderstood. I thought his name was Mr. Tom Petty. And I said to him, do you mind if I call you Tom? And he said, well, why, why would you call me Tom? And it turns out his name wasn't Mr. Tom Petty at all. It was Mr. Competty. That was his name, his surname, uh, Mr. Competty. And do you know what? When I got to know him, the guy was an amazing teacher and he really, really made learning interesting as well. Top man, top man, Mr. Competty. Uh, amazing teacher. And I wish there'd be more teachers like that when I was younger. That said, though, uh, on the on the bright side, my son has a couple of very amazing teachers as well. And I wish there'd be more like that when I was younger, too. But anyway, morning and welcome to Tuesday. I do hope that you are well this Tuesday morning. If somewhat chilly, a man who won't be chilly is Richard Brown, who will have had the uh, the car on preheat this morning before setting out on his journey into work today. Of course, uh, avoiding Teddington at all costs. There will be no travelling through Teddington. But morning though, Richard. I don't know what he's got on for today. Trash out Tuesday, I think it is today, if I remember right, on the Richard Brown Life Coach Training Calendar. Trash out Tuesday. Do you know what? We must map them all out, though, somehow. So we've got a Monday. uh, We've got Trash Out Tuesday. We have got Washing Wednesday. I don't know what we've got on Thursday. And I don't really know what we've got on Friday. I suppose Friday's finished work Friday, given that it is the weekend. But yeah, we must must get him to map out the entire week for us on the Richard Brown Life Coaching Calendar. Come on, Brownie. We need to get that one sorted, if you please, my man. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Happy hump day to you. Morning and welcome to Wednesday. It is Mark Denham at breakfast, banging out the anthems on Atom Radio. And I'm pleased to say, with no intention at all of leaving. In reference to Ken Bruce, who yesterday, after 45 years, announced that he was leaving Radio 2. Now, this was big news uh, back at the end of September when Steve Wright left Radio 2. That was big news. This, however, this was even bigger news yesterday across all the papers, across Sky News. Uh, Broadcasting legend leaves Radio 2. Wow. Uh, Do you know what? I didn't honestly think that Ken Bruce would leave Radio 2. He did a thing uh, a couple of weeks back where he said, I'll never retire. I'll just carry on working. I don't want to retire. My wife doesn't want me to retire either. uh, And I would never, ever retire. And I thought, well, that's Ken at Radio 2 then. Uh, And he's very cleverly, like, secured his place at Radio 2. However, it is not. Ken will be leaving Radio 2 at the end of March. And it was big news yesterday. I can tell you that there will be no such news here. And at the end of March, I will still be here. And also at the start of April as well. I will still be here banging out the anthems. Hopefully, it won't be as cold at the start of April. uh, And and there won't be in the air. In the morning, by the start of April. 
but I will still be here and I will still be banging out the anthems. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Quarter past six, morning, then Mark Denham on FM Radio, banging out the anthems. Listening to music for at least five to ten minutes a day strengthens the mind, making it easier to deal with emotional stress. Therefore, if you do all four hours, wow, you'll be an expert. You'll be a master in dealing with emotional stress if you do all four hours. Mark Denham at breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Bad news, by the way. Uh, If you are healthy but you enjoy bacon and sausage sandwiches, they could raise the risk of type 2 diabetes. Oh, no. 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 I mean, that, that is, it's a mic drop moment. And if it wasn't on a a boom arm stand, then then, I might drop it but it holds itself up. Seriously though, bacon and sausage sandwiches could risk the uh, raise the risk of type 2 diabetes. Why is it that everything that's in any way whatsoever remotely nice is horrible? A study uh, published by the PLOS Medicine Journal suggested an association between dietary exposure to the nitrates and the risk of type 2 diabetes. Oh, come on. Life is sometimes just unfair. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Today we've been talking about dating, first dates, who should pay the bill, and it's a contentious topic. We have a variety of answers from you, and thank you so much for those. However, it turns out that according to the experts, and that's what this was all about, according to the experts, uh, one of the dating experts called Perry says... There is no right or wrong answer to this, explaining that she believes whoever is doing the asking and the planning of the date should be paying. So if the lady asks the man out, it should be the lady that's paying. She says, though, that it's only fair for the other person to offer to pay or split the day, the bill after a few dates. She said you should have a discussion about money as soon as you enter a committed relationship, even though this can be a tricky subject. If one person makes more than the other, you can come to agreement about how you split these things so that it is fair to both partners. There you are, you see. So the answer, according to the relationship expert, is the person who does the asking and does the planning of the date should be the one to pay. Well, now you know. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Now, I guess it depends on how old you are as to who pays for the first day. I reckon if you're a little older, then you would probably be of the old school view that the man pays on the first day. I reckon if you're younger, you'd be more than happy to split the bill on the first day. And the honest truth is there is no right answer. According to the relationship expert, uh, there is no one-size-fits-all right answer. I mean, obviously, if you earn a million pounds a year and the person you're asking out earns you know, £4,000 a year, it would make sense that you pay. Likewise, according to her, the person who is doing the asking out and arranging the date, well, yeah, I mean, they could say, let's go to, I don't know, a, uh, a Michelin star restaurant. You'd be thinking, oh, no, my wallet. You know, I, it's so contentious in 2023 as to who pays on a first date. And you know what? I'm just glad that I am not like of a younger age and having to do all this from the start. I am so, so, so glad about that. Thank you for checking out episode 205 of the podcast. As always, I appreciate you. Don't forget you can subscribe on your favorite podcast app or either on YouTube. And if you liked it, you can check out the show Monday to Friday, 6 until 10 on atomradio.co.uk, online, on mobile and on smart speaker. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast.